Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to the Cobra Built YouTube channel. Today is a little change in pace on what we are doing. Today I'm going to kind of give you guys what you guys have been asking for, and that is a full in-depth review on my Holly Sniper EFI system. I'm gonna kind of explain to you guys, you know, how to hook it up, the do's and don'ts, what to do, what not to do, everything like that. And I'm going to load a new tune onto the sniper via the wizard. I'll explain to you guys kind of what the wizard is and everything like that. And I'll go out and drive it and we'll do a couple pulls and show you guys how dummy proof these new EFI systems really are and how awesome Holly is for providing a product like this that's somewhat affordable. I know it's kind of on the pricier side. I know carburetors fully rebuilt are about, you know, 700 bucks for a good one. And the Holly Sniper EFI, I think, runs right about the $1,400 area. But in my opinion, it is fully worth it. So let me show you guys how it's hooked up on my car and how to hook everything up and we will go out and drive it. But if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really helps out my channel. But if you are new, this is my 1980 Mustang Cobra 347 TKX 8.8 .8 with 373s. But if you are familiar with this car, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, what are those? These are my new hood pins. And you might be thinking to yourself, you know, why did you add hood pins to, the, to this car? Well, over the years, I have seen countless Fox bodies where the hood flies up, you know, whether it's a hood latch air or, you know, just out of pure coincidence, the hood flies up and then it takes out the cowl. The cowl looks like a taco. You got to have that repaired. It takes out the windshield. And then if you're going fast enough, it pretty much takes out the roof as well. So kind of a, uh, kind of a safety precaution there, but they also look good. And if you're not a fan of them, then I mean, they're there for safety. So I guess just kind of look at it that way. But yes, this car has the Holly Sniper EFI system and my kind of take on it, it is very, very user friendly. There's a lot of things that you can do with the Holly Sniper system. You can have it control the timing if you run the Hyper Spark or the Dual Sync. You can have it hooked up to a two step. You can run it with an MSD box. However, and this is what gets a lot of people, you can run this. Let's say you have a bone stock. 1980 Mustang Cobra and it has the V8 you can run the Holly Sniper system you don't you don't have to have an MSD box you don't have to have you know all this fancy stuff like what I got I have it just because I kind of wanted it and kind of wanted to dabble in it myself but this is the exact unit that is on my car this is a base sniper unit and this one was on my dad's car we took it off because it uh what looks like ran really close to the exhaust and kind of burnt it up. So uh, we ended up going a different route. But all, all this is still the same as it would be on my car. But pretty much, so how this works is there's two injectors here, two injectors here. So pretty much one for each barrel here. And then these are all your outputs. Uh, this one right here is for your screen. This one's for your coolant temperature sensor. This one I'm pretty sure is the main harness. So like it has like your main like power and ground everything like that and then this one is for your outputs and then i'm pretty sure this one is for your wideband so you will have to drill a wideband bung into your exhaust on either side on either bank but the nice thing is if you buy the complete kit from holly it comes with that. It comes with two clamps, and then all you do is drill the hole into your exhaust. Just make sure that when you're drilling it, you don't put it just straight up. You have to put it at an angle, otherwise it is very prone to moisture, and you will run through O2 sensors faster than you take showers. So, <laughs> so probably like once a month. <laughs> but the one thing that a lot of people, and if you join Holly Facebook groups and everything like that, you will see that people sometimes hate these things and yes yeah, sometimes it is mechanical error you know it's something in the sniper that isn't put together right like maybe an injector stuck open if you call holly they will take care of you a hundred times over they will make sure that your car is running to perfection and that is why i continuously use holly parts on my cobra just because their customer service is top notch but kind of back to what I was saying is these things have to be hooked up perfect. And something that gets a lot of people on these 
is wiring. So I guess just let me say this first and foremost, if you are not comfortable with wiring, I would take this somewhere and have them hook it up. Let's say you're powering ground. It has to run directly to the battery. You can't run it off of like, let's say in a Fox body, like your power goes to the starter solenoid. You can't, you cannot run that to the starter solenoid. I advise for you, if you're hooking one of these up to yourself, do exactly as the owner's manual says. And actually, these are pretty, you know, dummy proof. If you have at least above a fifth grade reading comprehension, which I'm probably right at that fifth grade mark, <laughs> you can hook one of these up. But like I said, just make sure that it's kind of hooked up the way that the instructions say just so that you don't have any errors or anything like that let me open up the hood and kind of show you guys how i have it ran on mine mine is very i like things simple so when i hooked this up i made sure everything was accessible nothing you know was super hidden or anything like that it was right there if it ever needed to be worked on but as for the hood all you do is pop this you just come out here lift up a little bit boom boom and there it is let me take off the air cleaner just like that and yes there it is on my car and like i said i have everything kind of out in the open just so that you know if it ever needed to be worked on it's right there and the nice thing is if you buy one of these systems you can either buy it as pretty much just a basic kit if you already have a really well plumbed fuel system or you already have like an intake pump or anything like that it you can buy it as just kind of a separate kit or you can buy a full kit that comes with you know some fuel line external pump pretty much everything you need to hook it up so like i said if you already have an intake pump like i do however when I first bought the sniper system, I bought the entire kit. So it came with fuel pump and everything like that. However, just as time goes on, I upgraded to an intake pump. I upgraded to AN lines, you know, everything like that kind of made everything fancy. But the nice thing is, let's say you're doing kind of a restoration and you want this to look pristine under the hood. You know, everything, some things are a little messy under here. So please forgive me. You can still, you can still run this like style air cleaner because it just bolts up directly to the carbureted intake. The one thing that I will say, if you guys are going to be running this style throttle cable bracket, you will have to kind of make these kind of extensions that bring it outwards. Otherwise this beam right here hits the throttle. So you will, like I said, all I did was grab a couple plates and then drill two holes in it and extended it out and perfect. If you do not have a return style fuel system, this is kind of that piece that everybody kind of uh, doesn't want to do. And that's, you have to run a return style fuel system just because EFI wants 60 pounds of fuel pressure. At least this one does. I mean, every car is kind of different, but the sniper wants 60 pounds of fuel pressure. And if you just have that coming directly from the pump, it'll build as much pressure as it wants. So it can blow past 60 and go up to 100. And then that can take out your injectors and everything like that. So you do have to run a return style fuel system. So I just bought the in-tank pump that had a return style fuel system already plugged in for it. So all I did was run the feed up to this side and then the return comes out that side and then there is your fuel pressure regulator. So if you run this style EFI system, I know Holly makes a couple different ones, but if you run this one, you do not have to run an external fuel pressure regulator. Like I said in the early part of this video, I do have my timing controlled by the Holly Sniper dual sync distributor. And right there is the part number for it. Normally on a system like this, you would run the HyperSpark, but when I was kind of ordering everything, they were out of the HyperSpark systems. So Holly hooked it up and gave me the dual sync for the same price, which was very nice of them. But I do have it hooked up to my MSD box and everything like that. So kind of to kind of sum it up is if it says go to the battery, go to the battery. If you know it says to tap into this wire, tap into this wire, you know, just do as the instructions say. Don't be that person that hooks it up wrong and then sees a problem and then posts on Facebook saying, you know, it's really bad, you know, this and this, I would never buy a sniper system. And then you call Holly support and they're like, yeah, you have it hooked up wrong. And then you're like, oh, uh, okay, thank you. And then you go and delete the post. I see that. I, I literally see that at least five times a week, if, if not more. It's just people just need to take their time 
and slow down with these and kind of just double check everything. Don't use like butt connectors, solder everything, make sure everything's good to go and make sure that everything is plumbed the way it is supposed to be. Now, as for this little screen, this is kind of what I was referring to when I meant the wizard. This is what you are going to use to set up your tunes or you can go in here and go to like your gauges. So like right now, you know, you can kind of see that like your coolant temperature sensor is reading 91 degrees, your battery volts, because mine is kind of sitting here doing nothing, not idling or anything, it's at 11, seven, 11, nine. But you can kind of see everything in here, or if you like, you go to your sensors, you can read more. It's like your throttle position sensor, your coolant temperature sensor, ignition timing, everything like that. But like I said, if you aren't running like your HyperSpark or DualSync, if this is a completely bone stock C2 Corvette or Firebird or Mustang, whatever, that won't read anything. And then down here is obviously your RPM signal. So like when you're cranking, it'll say, you know, like whatever your motor normally cranks at, let's say 400, 500 RPMs, it'll read that as you're cranking. But when you get to this screen, let's say you wanna load in a tune, whether it's from somebody who's tuning it remotely or in person, or if you're running, let's say a wizard tune, you will go into the wizards and you will select your sniper setup. So now this is where some people kind of get confused because they don't know what sniper it is. Go on to your box that your sniper came in and it will show you your part number. So mine is just a base sniper system, however, you can tune this as a super sniper. It's all in the tuning. So you can tune this sniper system with a turbo, a pro charger, whatever. It's just, you have to have that professionally tuned. The tune is not in the wizard for you to pull that tune off of. But I'm going to write a new tune, but before I do that, I'm going to save the tune that is already on here. So I'm just gonna go into file, global configs, and then I'm going to download from ECU. So I'm going to download it to the SIM chip that is in this. So I'm just gonna go to save global config and then I can name it whatever. I, there's only one tune, so this is going to be my only tune. So my tune is gonna pop up right there, done deal. So now I can go home, go into wizards, go into my sniper system and you'll select whatever cylinder motor you have. So in my case, it's an eight cylinder. And then you will go into here. All you gotta do is tap this. It'll bring you to this. So I will type in 347, hit save, and then hit next. And then I will select my target RPM idle. So I want that to be, let's say 850. Hit save, hit next. And then I will select my cam. Now you can call your cam manufacturer or whatever and kind of ask, but more than not, you will have a stock mild. I know my cam is a street strip cam and I don't have anything. And this is where you would select your nitrous oxide, turbo, pro charger, whatever. If you had a super sniper, they, these would be filled with whatever. But in my case, I have none. Hit next. And then this is where you will select your, you know, if it's just hooked up to a coil, if it's a completely bone stock deal, or if you have like a MSD box or magnetic distributor, HyperSpark, dual sync, whatever. So in my case, I'll hit dual sync and this is whatever I want my ignition timing to be at, at watt. So wide open throttle. So I will select 33 degrees, hit next, and then hit save and just like that, hit okay. And then what I like to do just to kind of make sure everything's kosher is to just switch it off, let it sit for a couple seconds and then prime the key. You will hear the pump turn on and you will hear the injectors pulse that is shooting fuel into the intake. And then at that point, you can start up your ride. So let's see how the sniper tune does on the first, very first startup. Right off the bat. Fire, fires right up and that like i said that's just the tune that comes on that sd card and you can update that sd card as time goes on so you know maybe something comes out that holly updates their software and you can go in on their website and take the sd card out download it and plug it in and you're good to go but let's go drive this thing and see how it does you know there are some things you kind of got to take it easy and you know once you drive it a little bit and do some part throttle stuff and you know takeoffs and everything like that then you can do wide open throttles and see uh 
see how your newly performed ride does. So I kind of have this thing sitting here just kind of in set gear, kind of going downhill. But as I can tell, I mean, it's driving pretty smooth for literally two seconds of learning. I mean, I'm going up a hill and it's 60 degrees out, no sputtering, no pa 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 pa, nothing like that. The drivability on the sniper system is hands down second to none. It drives like a factory car. And I'm sitting here at 2400 RPMs, you know, and I can shift it in the fifth doing 40 miles an hour. And it drives, like I said, like a brand new car. And that's what I love about the sniper system. You get better miles per gallon, better tunability, more modern features. You can control the timing and how it ramps in. And then when you're coasting down a hill, you can put it into the neutral and it doesn't want to die. You don't you don't have to sit there and you know make sure it stays idling, it doesn't die on you, and you can come up to a complete stop, put it in the first, and then take off like normal. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty easy. And then you know, if you want, you can nail it first <laughs> and it it learns if it sits there and you know wants a hiccup or whatever i guarantee you it'll only do it that one time because the sniper learns how you drive and it targets everything and makes sure that if it does that it will never do it again and also another nice thing about the sniper is let's say i have my fans turned on so that when the key turns on the fans are always on however can have the sniper turn the fans on so if you want the car to warm up a little bit faster because it's colder outside those fans won't turn on until the temperature you have it set so that's also very nice and you can run air conditioning with this so that when you turn on the air conditioning the fans turn on so that in and of itself is very nice and that is a very nice feature but just sitting here cruising it's a hundred times better than my old carburetor I went through a 600, a 650, and even a 750, and all of those were kind of meh. In my opinion, you can be the world's best carburetor tuner, and you will never have it tuned better than EFI, ever. Because you'll always have those variants of, you know, whether it's 60 degrees or 100 degrees. This can be 150 degrees outside and it'll start. You don't gotta sit there and pump it, nothing like that. You don't gotta have the choke on, nothing like that. So like I said, we're going up an on-ramp in second gear and let's nail it. That was really smooth, so let's, you know, let's try a third gear pull. There is no hesitation when you nail it, there's no boom, and then it ramps in. I mean, I know with my old carburetor, and granted, I, it probably wasn't tuned right. You know, there are diehard carburetor guys that'll be like, well, you just didn't know how to tune it. That may very well be, and I'm 24 years old, so you know, I didn't grow up with carburetors. So I don't know how to sit there and fine tune a carburetor so that it doesn't do that. But 90% of people nowadays don't want to sit there and grab their little five point screwdriver and finally tune a carburetor. They just want to throw it on and go. And with this, you fully can. And give you guys a little second gear pull action again. driving I will probably never buy a carburetor ever again because this thing is in a class of its own and you know like I said the pricing you know isn't you know super duper affordable it's not like it's a it's 200 bucks you know you gotta pay to play and if you want drivability and you don't want to sit there on the side of the road sitting there pumping the throttle and everything like that you know and potentially flooding it I would highly recommend this to anybody but that's gonna be it for this video guys if you could please smash that like button that greatly helps out my channel and helps grow and I just want to thank you guys for the immense support I've received in the past couple of months you guys honestly have no idea how much that means to me and if this video gets 500 likes I will give one of you guys a subscriber 
I will give one of you guys a $100 gift certificate to Late Model Restoration. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will go through my subscribers and I will pick one lucky subscriber and announce the winner in the next video. So stay tuned guys, take care and have a great day.